Devin Haney, fresh off of beating Vasily Lomachenko, goes out there and challenges Regis Progre. Can't be mad at the end of the day, man. You got to like how this kid is moving and shaking. You really do. You really do. Although Eddie said he never got that phone call. <laughs> we'll talk about that in another video, though. But let's talk about Devin Haney at 140. People that ask me, what I think about Devin Haney at 140? What I think he's going to be like? What he going to be? Can he do something? With that being said is I see trouble at 140 for Devin Haney. You know, as skilled as he is, as good as a fighter that he is at, at the end of the day, I don't see nothing but trouble. Because one thing, if people didn't figure anything out when seeing Devin Haney fight Lomachenko, Devin Haney, it is an absolute must, especially if he's going to be competing at the at 140. He especially got to get some mustard behind them punches. He especially got to get some mustard behind them punches. You can't be bumping around up there at 140 and not have no mustard on them punches. And when people watch the Vasily Lomachenko fight, they figure out that at least I don't have to fear Devin Haney hurting me. With that being said, you're going to need some firepower to keep the boys up off you. And at 140 division, you know, you're going to need some firepower. So as far as Devin Haney is concerned, if I had him, I wouldn't work on nothing but kinetic linking with this kid. We got to get some thunder behind them hands because you could be a skilled fighter all day long. It don't matter if that person got a decent set of whiskers, can dish out what you can't dish out. And can take what you can't take you out of there. Skills are no skills. You know? Skills are no skills. And a lot of people talk about Devin Haney is chinny. I'm not, I'm not going to be quick to call him chinny. I haven't seen his chin tested enough. I know people talking about the Linares, but that's people who just want to run away with something. You know how they do these American athletes. You know? But what they don't talk about is how he basically won every round with uh, Linares, but that's exactly my point. Look at all the rounds he won at the end of the day. But when he got clipped by Linares, he was on Wobble Street. That's what I mean by you can have all the skills, but if you ain't got the firepower to keep him up off you, and if you ain't got the whiskers to withstand it, then at 140, what you really gonna do? You gonna have to fight perfect fights your whole time campaigning at 140. That's why it's important that the kid get some power behind him. I ain't saying he got to be the hardest puncher. He he just got to hit harder than what he hit. Because if he don't, I don't see how you're going to keep these guys up off you. Especially when you send it nothing they way, which they fear or worried about. Like, he can't hurt me. He can't knock me out. This, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? He may, he may stun on me all rounds. You know what I'm saying? I clip him a good two or three times. He's out of here. That, that's what Devin Haney's going to have to get over. And I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't. I've always seen Devin Haney as uh, limited. You know. But I like how he don't let his limitations or what he doesn't have. It don't stop him from making big fights. It don't stop him from making big moves. It don't stop him from being ambitious. It don't stop none of that. You know. And a lot of people talk about a fight with Javante Tank Davis. You know. And um Honestly, I really don't see Tank Davis' team going that way. You know, I don't. I mean, they could, but I don't. You know, even if Tank is confident, Tank team got to be confident. And I hear a lot of back and forth, but we just got to be real. At the end of the day, Devin Haney chased down and pursued somebody that Javante Davis' team has been openly avoiding. We all know he... They didn't want no parts of Vasily Lomachenko. Now, me, I believe different. I believe Tank could beat Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get touched up a little bit doing it, but once he connect, he all good. And a lot of people feel like that, but his team don't feel like that. And it was always strange to me. I'm like, he, he can ice this dude right here, you know, but his team don't feel like that. But that's my thoughts on this. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.